I love sitting in class and learning about the body and having it all click. Remember, you're doing rapid triage. You just need determination points. Quick, quick determination points. Count, 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 count. I am 38 years old. I have a 12-year-old daughter, and I recently took in my mom. Not being able to find a job for such a long time, I just felt like people are always gonna have emergencies. This is a job market where you'll always have a job. The fact that I wanted to help people solidified for me that you need to take this program. Now you're directing traffic. Now the you're EMT profession, is expected to grow 33% over the next three to seven years. In order for a woman to become self-sufficient, they have to earn at least 200% of the poverty level. And in order to do that, they need a special skill or talent. And that's why you have two people. Somebody's checking the bags. This program gave me a fair shot because of the training itself. It's 10 months of intense training, intense learning. It's not for the faint at heart. I come back to volunteer because I've been through the program. I know what it takes, and I want them to succeed. Do you know what today is, sir? No. What's your name? Chris. Chris, you do know your name. OK, that's good. That's good. We're going to take care of you, get you transported. Make sure you're safe, OK? Right. Your boss is good. He is a very nice name. OK. Our EMT training program would not exist without the funding through the Chicago Foundation for Women. Being a recipient of the Chicago Foundation for Women has afforded us many opportunities outside of just financial ones. Uh, we have participated in the core concept, capacity building trainings. We can reach out to the staff at the CFW or, um, offices. We can tap into the Eleanor Network partnerships. And these are things that are needed to sustain not just a program, but an organization. Assess, assess, assess. And when you see a thing, Chicago Foundation for Women took the chance to write the check for me to be here. You all did fantastic. Fantastic. All women need some time is just an opportunity. And when they're given an opportunity, they take it from there. <laughs> The doors that can open for me, like I finally will have the clinical skills that I need to apply to a hospital position. I tell my daughter, aim for the best, have integrity in everything you do. Seeing me put everything I can into this program shows her that, you know, it's possible. This is a male-dominated field. You have to prove that I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. This is what I do, and I do it well. And in some cases, I do it a little better than you.